Hey y'all, I'm Rocio and this is Risa's Brazils and I've got a few updo hairstyles for you that you can rock this season. These are perfect for any holiday party or formal event. Before we get started, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you never miss another one of my videos. Now let's go ahead and start with the first look. Now I have a tendency of giving myself bangs whenever it comes to formal hairstyles. I don't know, it's just me. But for this look, I'm gonna start off with hair halfway up and halfway down. And with the section of my hair that I have half up, I'm gonna give it a little twist and push that against my scalp to give my hair a little bump and pin that in place with a couple of bobby pins. And then with the bottom half of my hair, I give my ends a little twist and then I bring that up against my scalp again towards the middle and then I pin that in place too. And that's really it. This is probably the easiest hairstyle that I've shown, but I always get lots of tutorial requests for it for some reason. This next one's also really easy, so of course I've got my bangs ready, but what I'm doing is I'm starting with one side and I'm just twisting my hair all the way to the back, taking a little bit of hair at a time as I twist. And I'm twisting all the way until I get to the other side of the head behind the ear. Let me get the bangs out of the way so you can see. And then from the other side, I start to twist the remaining hair back towards my chunky twist. And then I don't know if you can see clearly, but I'm sort of twisting everything together now. Just enough to where I have a good bit of hair left. Now remember, all this is on the side of the head. So what I'm doing is I'm just pulling it up and pinning it in place. Now the higher up the pins are, the less curls you'll have just sort of hanging or cascading out. I like my curls upright and in place. But this is it. Again, a super easy look, very elegant, very classy. Next look, bangs again, pick a side, any side. Now with the left side of my hair, what I started to do is I started to take some hair a little bit at a time and twisting it back till I got to almost the middle of my crown. Not quite the middle, but almost the middle. And with a few body pins, I pinned that in place. I did the same to the other side, twisting my hair back, taking a little bit of hair at a time until I got to almost the middle of my crown. And then again with a few bobby pins, pinning that in place. All right, now the hair that's left over, we're gonna take it in three sections. So with the first section, you're gonna twist it and pin it just above the twist that you created so you have some curls left over. With the section to the right of your hair, you're gonna do the same. You're gonna twist it up and pin it right above the other twist. And then with that last middle section, you're gonna do the same. You're just gonna twist it and pin it right in the middle. That way you give the illusion that the curls are floating over the twists. And that's the third look. Pretty simple, but still really great for a formal event. Now, if you decided, eh, you know what, bangs aren't really for me, you can always just take the pieces that were left over, give it a quick sweep away from your face and pin it under the twist. Either way, it's still a really great look. All right, so for the next look, again, set aside the bangs, but take a section of your hair as if you're about to do a half up, half down style. With the top half of your hair, just start twisting down the middle. After maybe about two to three twists, gently pull on the hair at the top of your head to give a little bump, and then you can add a few bobby pins to keep that in place. Keep on twisting down the middle of your head. As you're twisting, you can add some bobby pins to secure everything in place. And you wanna keep twisting until you get to maybe about above the nape of your neck. You still wanna have some curls left over. Now with the curls that are left over, just twist the ends and pull it up to where the twist ended. This will give a really nice chignon look. Now y'all, I'm doing this without a mirror, okay? I'm working off of memory. But I did this style at a ball and I got a lot of great compliments on it. Just make sure you clean up the bobby pins so that they're not all showing. Now again, if bangs aren't really your thing, then you can just swoop away from your face and pin it at the top of the low bun. This is a really classy look and perfect for any formal event. All right, y'all, so with this next look, again, get the bangs off to the side. And what I'm doing is I'm taking a section from the left side of my hair and I'm just pulling it back. I'm not twisting, I'm just pulling it back and pinning it again, not quite in the middle of the head. I'm doing the same to the other side, just pulling the hair back. And it looks like I'm twisting, but I'm not really. I'm just sort of holding that section in place and then adding some bobby pins to make sure everything is secure. And then here we go with the three sections again. So with the bottom half of your hair, you're taking that first section to the left, twisting it and pinning it above the first half. I don't know if that makes sense, but I hope you can see it. You're doing the same with the right section, twisting it and pinning it up in place. And then with that middle section, what you're gonna do is you're gonna twist as much as you can and pin it in place right at the lower middle section of your head. Like I said, it's slightly different from the third look, just a little more pinning going on and less curls just kind of flowing out of the style. All right, y'all, so this last look is gonna be a little more of a looser updo. So what I'm doing is I'm taking sections on either side of my face, just kind of setting it aside from the rest of my hair. And then this is gonna be a little complicated to explain, but I'm kind of just gathering areas of my hair a little bit at a time and pinning it in place. You can kind of see that I'm just gripping my hair, lifting it to get a little lift or a little bump, and just pinning my hair in place. There's no real rhyme or reason to what I'm doing. Now with the sections of my hair that I had separated, 
did. I'm taking a little bit at a time and I'm pinning it to the back of my head. I think one thing I love about this look is that it's very random, but everywhere that you pin your hair, it's almost like you're doing it on purpose. Like I said, really hard to explain. So I'm hoping just watching the video will help. The great thing about curly hair is that you can really just pick it up and pin it wherever you want and it'll still look elegant. I think people underestimate curly hair and how formal our styles can get. But this is it. Again, very easy, but a very elegant touch. So what do y'all think? Six updo hairstyles that you can rock this holiday season to any party or formal event. Comment below and let me know which one was your favorite. If you try out any of these looks, take a photo and share it on social media. You can tag me at Reese's Brizzo so I can see it and show you some love. Thumbs up if you liked this video and subscribe if you haven't already. Un besito and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.